Hello guys and welcome to another video of Color Black Ops 2 and this will be covering most of the things and um, basically what you do here is get the Master Stone piece, get a shovel, turn on the audio log, then once you turn that on you want to go ahead and wait for some zombies to spawn and once you've done that you just go ahead and get the generator if you want to in the beginning it's only 200 and then you get your money back you want to kill some of those zombies up until you get 400 points because once you got 400 points you won't be able to get any more points make sure not to fill up the generator completely yet until you got in the 400 I got it now now I go on to the generator Okay, so I'm killing the zombies. Make sure you shoot them four to six times if you want the most out of your money, and then knife them. Wait until round two to get the double points, because you're going to need that double points. I got a max ammo there. I'd usually get on round two or one. It's kind of different. So go ahead, I go ahead and build the generator, or not generator, um, barriers here. And once I built that, I go wait for some zombies. And then after you wait for zombies for a while, I just like listen to this right for a little bit. And then, after a while, I hear more zombies. Okay, there, I heard a zombie. And it's like, okay, so there's some zombies out here. Now I'm going to go get the double points. Shoot all your bullets into the zombie. Make sure it's not in the head. Just want headshots. And then knife them. I got the nuke over here, which kind of sucks. That doesn't give you as much points. Then, I, like, um, my controller disconnected for a little while. And then it, I reconnected it and then started building again. And now, I'm going to open the door. I don't get Quick Revive yet, but I get it, um, like, around 4 or 5. Okay, now I dig up this stick site, get a Mauser again, which, um, ain't too good since, unless it's pack-punched, so, yep. I go ahead and dig up the next site, got a nuke, get that. Now, I'm going to go get the MP40. But first, I get the blue disc, and then I get the MP40. Yep. And I don't use it yet. I make sure there's no giant robot. I look for a piece for this, for the, um, what's it called, uh, zombie shield. And I kill some zombies over here, and I get hit once, I'm pretty sure. Yep, and then I run away, so I don't die. And for now, I'm just trying to get as much points as possible. That's pretty much what you want to do, because if you don't get that many points, you're going to be waiting for a long time just to get the jug. And you really want jug as fast as you can. I think I get it on round five or so. I got double points there. And now I'm just going to kill this zombie here. Make sure you're shooting in the legs like eight times. Almost got stepped on right there. That would have sucked really bad. I was like, whew. Man, that sucks. Uh, I mean, that's lucky. So, I'm pretty sure I killed that zombie. And then I go get the generator and then quick five. I pull out this MP40, start killing them, turn on the generator, not yet, um, I don't know when I turn on the generator, I think I go ahead and turn it on when I get the zombie blood, and yep, I turn it on, I just wait around the generator, shoot that zombie right there, and once it's fully charged, you get 100 plus 200, which is 300. And now I go ahead and go try to get quick revive. But first, I'm gonna kill the zombies. There's the insta kill right there. I get it. 
I don't use it, but there's always next time to use it. I go ahead and go get quick revive. I'm going towards it. I hear a zombie. I was like, oh crap, I almost got hit. And there's quick revive. I get it, and then I'm off on my way. Yes, it does taste like trench water. So I'm just waiting for a zombie. I open up the door. Then I open up the next door. And I'm looking for dig sites, which you usually should do. If you get 50 dig sites, you get the golden shovel. Then the golden shovel will give you the golden helmet after you dig up 20 more. <clears throat> so I'm just looking around for the dig sites. Like usual. I find one right there. Big dig it up. Luckily it was a zombie. And that will help me later on because I get more money for Jug. Which I do get on this round. Either this round or round 5, the beginning of it. I got a staff piece, the blue one. Make sure it's snowing, and you'll be able to get that whenever you dig it up. And here, I go get that dig site. I throw that grenade away. There was a piece over there that um for the th zombie shield. I get the generator. It's about halfway. Uh, I'm getting surrounded here, mostly. And then I kill that zombie. I get that much. Okay, I kill one more zombie. And then I have enough for Jug. It's like, okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to turn the zombie around so I can get Jug. And then I get Jug, luckily, so I didn't get hurt by the zombie. And there's a zombie shield piece behind me, but I'm too stupid to realize that's there. So I am looking around here for dig sites again. And I'm pretty sure I kill the zombie over here by the soul soul box. There you go, it took one of the souls. And he's waiting for a little while. I was thinking of filling it up, but nope, I didn't feel like it. I'm looking for the plane that's on fire so I can get the fire staff piece. It's not there at first, so I'm just gonna wait till like round eight or so, and then I get it. Basically, what you want to do is try to get as many headshots as you can. And if you got max ammo, just shoot until like it's about to go away. But right here, I was gonna get surrounded, so I had to go ahead and get it. As many headshots as you can. Watch your back, because there could be zombies. Unless you got the zombie shield, you might want to look behind you every few seconds. And you can sometimes hear them, so that's always useful. When you get the zombie blood, you can just relax and kill some zombies. Be happy. And I accidentally killed that zombie right there. And I'm just waiting for a few seconds for more zombies. I fast forward it since there's like nothing to do here that I've done besides getting headshots which is really what you want to do getting dig site getting the zombie blood but I'd never got it I'm getting more dig sites getting more headshots too got the purple Lightning disc. There's also the wind disc over here in this general area. I get stamina up because um, I usually get quick revive first, jug, then stamina up because that's really what you want. Stamina up is simply for running away from the zombies when you're getting surrounded ish and uh. Quick revive is so you can revive yourself when you get down. Jug is for you can protect yourself more. 
That's usually what I get. And Deadshot Daiquiri's for the headshots. Kills them faster, and that way you waste less ammo. And you can get the challenge completed. If you get all the challenges complete, you get an achievement. Like every single challenge, including the one that you get four boxes. You get the Thunder Fists for getting the four boxes. What I mean by the four boxes is... I mean the souls for the four boxes, not the boxes that you get the guns out of, of course. I go ahead and open up that barrier. Go to the sixth generator. But first, okay, there was a location for the fire disc over there. Wasn't there. Now it's over here. I get it. Now I turn on generator six, and I'm going around here, make sure I don't get surrounded. You can go around the side over there, and it still is like your one foot still on. So it will count, and if you wait until you get your points back, and then you get the fire staff piece. Yay! You usually want to build the fire staff first, since it's the easiest to build. For me, anyways. Unless you go in all the robots. I'm looking around here for a part. But it wasn't there, so it was in a different location. Agartha is a place where you go to upgrade staffs and uh, get the staffs and stuff. Staff gems. And upgrade them. What she means by Song of Ancients is get the gramophone and the disc, which is the white disc that I have already. Okay, so I'm looking for the Max's drum piece. Basically, it's right to the left right there. It could be on either side. I'm not sure if you've seen it, so I will go back to there again. And there you go. It hasn't shown on theater mode for some reason, but yeah. I go ahead and dig out that piece. Oh, look, a shotgun. Pick it up. There you go. Get the zombie blood. Try to dig out as much stuff as I can to get the golden shovel. So I mean, that sounds weird. Like, really, really weird. She's like a demon, I'm pretty sure. Everybody knows she's a demon. One minute. Okay. And. I'm looking for the Maxis drum piece, another one. I get the gramophone, which is right there. Put it down. And the box over there should open up. I right, fast forward it so you don't have to wait through that. And now I'm going to simply just go ahead and get the next drum piece, which is right there. If you haven't seen it, I'll show you again. Right there. Jump down there, and then you see it right there. I'm not sure why it doesn't show in theater mode, but as I said, I don't know. Um, I build it usually over here in this area, and um, I'm going to go back to show you that there's an easter egg thing right there to the right. That is a map that you can break open and see a message. Now I'm going to build the max drone here, and I'm going to take it, but I don't think I ever use it that really, uh, maybe once in the whole gameplay. I don't show that on camera though, because um, it'll be a couple hours. Okay, so I open up the door. Go ahead and look for dig sites. Pick up that dig site. Go to Blood Money. And then I go open up this door to get to the next generator. I get the dig site first, though. Another zombie popped up, luckily. Get the generator. Then once I've gotten the generator, I go ahead. And... I think I, um... Get the pack-a-punch, um... On the next round. There's a challenge completed right there. You can get max ammo from that. I'm not sure if I've ever used it, though. I accidentally get the zombie blood. 
and I'm just waiting for next round to get the um, insta kill because you usually want to wait until a little while. If it's in between rounds, it will waste a couple seconds. So yeah. So the giant robot guy comes here. I'm like, oh no. He's almost dead already. And I open up this door. I kill him on the stairs. Boom. That simple. Next piece for the fire staff I gotten from him. Because he always gives you it. Okay. Unlike uh, the blue staff, there's a 100% guarantee you'll get fire staff exactly where they are like from the plane then from the sixth generator then from the robot guy that you kill it's always 100% guaranteed in this spot right here when you shoot down the plane that's on fire always I'm just trying to get more dig sites so I can go ahead and get the going shovel it's only round 8 so I'm pretty sure I haven't gotten 50 dig sites yet but I've gotten a lot of points so I'm just fast forwarding through here so I can get to the portal to go Agartha. I got a zombie shield piece right there. There wasn't one right over there. There was a rock over there, which you can get the Easter egg song on by doing that. And here I go. I put the ground phone down. And this is for the red portal, which is the fire staff. And there you can see it was building on its own since I put the ground phone down. And now I have to go turn the zombies away from here so I don't um, get down. So now I go into the portal. And now that I've gone into the portal, I will go get the gem. Okay, so I build that portal, go in it, and then I get the gramophone. Make sure you grab the gramophone or you won't be able to place it down anywhere else because, um, it's at that one place, and you might want to get it. So here, I'm going to go ahead and build the fire staff. You go down under pack a punch and go under again. This dead guy. Go ahead and get to the fire staff place. Go build it, and then I'll take it instead of the shotgun, not instead of the MP40. The MP40 is good. Up to around 30 something. Here, I lagged a lot. It was just like my connection, because my connection sucked. So, yeah. So, I'm going to pack a punch soon. I'm pretty sure it's on next round that I pack a punch. Either that or it's this round. And I twirl around the staff because it's awesome. Around here, I start twirling around a lot. That's cool. Got the zombie shield part over there. Not sure if you've seen it, so it's right about right in that place. It could be in a different place too, which it can be. I will show you in uh, when I get to that spot. Okay. Um. Yep. Here we go. It can be in that zombie guy's hands right there. The one that's laying down and looks like he's trying to grab something. Yep. can be right there. Okay, so I'm fast forwarding it over here. Going, to, I got that part over there by the wheelbarrow. It's not usually by there. But um, I, that was the first time for me finding it next to there. So, yeah. And um, in this gameplay, I do upgrade the fire staff, but I never use the other staffs really at all. So I'm building the sh zombie shield over here. Yep, pretty sure it's a zombie shield. Getting that. Make sure it doesn't get hit, but I, it gets hit once or twice. So that was kind of bad, because you usually don't want it to break. Now I'm pretty sure I go ahead and go pack a punch over here in this area first I go up here looking for stuff dig sites anything I can find go on this and try to get to the lightning staff piece 
and once I'm here I'm starting to fast forward a little bit so you'll be able to see it's like right to the right of me right there now I have to kill the zombie and then make sure you don't have that rampart in your way and then jump right here and once you jump go in here make sure there's no giant robot behind you because if there is a giant robot he'll step on this plot part here and he will kill you or get you down depends if you have cook or or not I'm not gonna be showing you where all the lightning staff pieces are but if you if I get like a hundred likes or, or more then I will show a tutorial on how to get the staffs and maybe how to upgrade them much ever here I'm trying to get mostly headshots and um, I end up getting the zombie blood trying to get more headshots it's on insta kill so I can't get any headshots so just go ahead and knife them so I can kill them all break that so I can get the other zombie shield which I usually do every round but this time I forgot to get it again because you always want it to the fullest dur durability <laughs> and I pack a punch over there it looks much cooler get the green stone as you can hear there should be a song okay so that song's pretty cool right yeah you can if you get all three of the green stones then you will be alright and get the song and have a fun time if you just want to hear the song go ahead and try it for yourself so yeah there I found the wind disc and it's right there it's somewhere in this area around this uh, generator 5 it's not always where I found it but yeah so I accidentally went back there now I'm looking for dig sites and um, a zombie the zombie got crushed by the giant robot I find out here that the um, these guys are trying to break the generator so I go and kill them and get the max ammo okay I twirl around the fire staff and I'm pretty sure I use it one of these times trying to fast forward to where I use it I'm just trying to get headshots, get the max ammo you might want to get the headshots for the challenge if you get all the challenges complete you get an achievement and there was a zombie I tried to get into it but I couldn't there's a lot, there was a frost staff piece that I just dug out make sure it's snowing or you won't be able to get them when you dig them out you can't dig him out unless it's snowing. Okay, so it's around 11 now. Um, I got blood money. I dug it up, and I'm going to go to Agartha and upgrade the staff soon. After I've used it once, I don't use it really much unless I get like cornered. Uh, this is insta kill and I'm trying to kill all zombies as I can and I'm fast forwarding through here so it won't be a waste of time I tour around the staff really a lot this is awesome I try to get the wonder fizz like a bunch because I want to get deadshot daiquiri which is like pretty good for headshots and it doesn't let you waste as much as bullets to kill them and right there I got the thing for wasting 30,000 points which uh, that gives you double tap I'm just trying to get a perk there was meal kick I'm waiting for it to disappear so I can try to get deadshot daiquiri okay so I accidentally b backtracked there so there's meal kick again so I'm just waiting for it to go away and try to get the wonder fizz as much as times I get so I can get dad shot daiquiri
Okay, I am trying to uh, get dish. I end up getting the teddy bear. I'm like, oh man. And I go ahead and go look for the wonder phase again. And it turns out it's in the original location next to Jug again. So it's always going to be random. It's not always going to be in the same spots for you guys. But I'm pretty sure that it will be in the general area, I guess. Okay, so I killed that zombie. I shot it once. If you didn't see that, I will show you again. Boom. That looks cool, right? It's pretty cool, man. <laughs> really, really cool. Yep, the gift of ammunition has been bestowed upon us. We get a lot of ammunition. Getting head shops like 24-7. Got 117. Getting 120 gives you the headshot perk thingy, or I mean, uh, headshot challenge completed. 120. And I'm pretty sure it's like 115 for multiplayer. Okay, I'm getting more headshots for no reason. Just because I like to get headshots. Killing the zombie so I can leave one left. Now, I am looking around for dig sites again. Because you want to get the gold shovel so you can get the golden helmet. Which is a very good thing. Because the golden helmet makes it where you get stepped on by the giant robot. And you don't get killed. I tried to get into the giant robot that time, but I gotta get the zombie away from it, or else the zombie would have died. Which would have sucked for me. Like, I mean, really bad. I would have had to redid some stuff. Or not redid some stuff, but I had to go through another wave. I got the frost staff piece. I go down here. This is the frost portal. I didn't know. I thought it was like purple. And I was like, oh, cool. I didn't know that. And I go in it. I going to go get the blue gem there it is right there I pick it up I go turn on the portal that's for upgrading it up there like you shoot those and stuff so I'm just waiting for it to be built um I don't know what that's for over there but yeah I got him red I almost died there I go ahead and pick up the gramophone I get out of there I'm going to go build the frost staff now. So you don't need to dig up anything on when it's snowing now. You can dig up anytime you want. And I'm about to go build the frost staff. There we go. I start building it. It's built. You can't carry two staffs at once as I figure out in when I get mule kick. I'm like, ah, oh, that sucks. And once I get it, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get the mystery box. And you will see I get a pretty good gun out of the mystery box. Okay, so basically I'm doing something over here. I'm going to try to get to Wonder Fizz, or as other people call it, Perca Cola, but it's really Wonder Fizz. If you didn't know that. Okay. So I'm fast forwarding it here. So. Because I get meal kick right there. I try to go ahead and get the staff. I'm like. I can't get it. So. It said that I can only carry one. So I'm going to go ahead and get the mystery box. I'm trying to see if I can get a good gun. I get it the first time. And guess what I get. The new gun. That is the, that is just best thing ever. It's pretty cool. So I take out my afterburner. I'm pretty sure I kill a zombie over around in one of these areas. Okay, now I get the double tap, which is the fifth thing. If you didn't see that, it's right here, the bottom one. Right there, you take it. There we go. And if you get the golden shovel, you can go ahead and dig up some pretty cool stuff.
like the golden helmet, which will help you not die by the giant robot that steps on you. And if you have zombie blood on you while having the gold shovel, you dig up some stuff. Um, there should be like a glowing pile. If you see that, go dig it up. And you will get like a perk bottle. And it should like, um, you'll be able to get the Wonder Fizz machine another time. And then when you get another one, you can get it again, all the way up till you have nine perks. So here I'm trying to upgrade the fire staff. Basically what you want to do is kill the zombies right next to this. They should light up after a while. All of them will light up. Once they light up, they can go ahead and get out of there. And I'm just fast running it here so I can show you. You kill a couple zombies, they explode. You have to kill them in, in this general area where the fire is. And I'm just wasting some ammo here since I just um, am going to upgrade it. So it's called something different after you upgrade it. I'm trying to reload here. I end up not reloading. And then I try to reload again. I upload. I reloaded. And there we go. I go ahead and try to kill as many as I can. Be careful because you can get surrounded around in this area. I almost did like a couple times and you should hear that weird noise and it should start like shaking. Then you should hear a quote from Samantha and you can get the heck out of there. And you just wait for it to build itself. You, If you have a nuke at the end, you can go get the nuke. Try not to get it during when you're doing that unless you're getting surrounded. And now you take the gramophone. And I got the golden shovel right there, which was pretty cool. And now I go ahead and kill those zombies that were attacking the generator. I didn't know they got the whole thing. After a while, I figured it out. There it blew up. Got the MP40. As I said, the gun shovel digs up lucky stuff. It can dig up max ammo and everything. Whilst the normal shovel can like barely ever dig up anything that's good. Unless you count the ballista as good. Yeah, I'm waiting for the zombies to... <clears throat> or uh, the zombie blood to get away. I fill up this... Right here, this soul box. After a while, I notice it. Being filled up. See, it's already filled up and I'm just coming more. I didn't even know. I was like, okay. Why isn't the souls going into it? And then after I kill this zombie right here. Then the other zombie, I figure it out. I'm like, oh, okay. It's already filled up. So, go ahead. Get the zombie shield. Now, I'm going to go and get as many as dig sites as I can. Now, i got to figure out the code. This one's 9. Or 11. 9. It's 11, then 9. That one's 9 right there. The one to the left was 11. 11, 9. 3. That one was 3. The one with the blood. Well, that one's 4. But, um, otherwise known as the one with the blood beneath it. So basically what I'm going to do here is the code. I did it wrong the first time. It was 1193 and then the one with the blood beneath it. But I get it wrong. As you can see there. I just fast forward it to where I get it right. So basically what you have to do is turn all these knobs to where it's red. I'm doing that right here. It's red. Now I'm going to the other one which is around this area. I'm turning it red. There we go, and now I'm going to the other one, which you go here, and then you jump up, jump down, go ahead and turn it until it's red again. I got stuck there for a second because the zombie, but I got out of there. And I was like, okay, it's not there for some reason, and I didn't know that you had to do this before. So then I also did the code wrong, so... I go ahead and go do the code again. This may be time based, so you might want to get there as fast as you can. 9 and 11, no, 11, 9, 3, and then the one with the blood. I'm looking for 11 here, and I can't find it. I was like, okay, where's 11? Was Is there even 11 or what? And I'm like, oh, okay, it's right next to 9. Or I mean, 2. 11, and then I go get 9. Right there. And then three, and then the one with the blood beneath it right there. 
and you hear like a rumbling noise, and then you'll hear a quote from Samantha. You have come so far, and then, like, I just fast forwarded it through that. Then you have to shoot this orb right there, it turns yellow, it goes up, and then after you've done that, you can go ahead and go to the Argartha and put the gramophone. But first, I go ahead and turn on the sixth generator again since the zombie take it away, took it away. And now I'm going to go upgrade the new G or whatever it's called, the new gun. Go ahead and pack a punch it there, take it. Now I'm going to go try to build the portal for the fire. Get the zombie shield again. Go ahead, get to the portal, then build it. Wait for the zombies to come over here. Almost got killed there, and then go into the portal. You put the fire staff in that place right there. You have to kill some zombies near it for it to gather souls. And then after it's done, you should like it should say you could take it, or you should hear Samantha's quote. I won't fast forward it really much here because I want to show you how much you have to kill. I already killed two before the, these guys, just so you know. So you can count if you want to, or if you don't want to, you don't need to. And it should like glow even more once you've gotten it. Around here, I've gotten it. Right there. It glows red. I didn't even notice it. It even shows up to the left. That's done. Then afterwards, you should hear Samantha's quote. I think it was still going. I was like, okay, no, never mind. And then you pick it up. It's awesome. You can knife with it. It like hits him two hits up to around on this round and stuff around 20 something okay now I go ahead and go and knife them a couple times and it was pretty cool pretty sure around here I use it you'll see me charge it up and it will be epic as crap Okay, that zombie died. Now I'm going to the generator. This is around where I charge it up and kill them. I almost got stomped on there, so I'll just wait. Okay, now I'm charging it up right now. And use it. It shoots awesome. And then there should be like magma spewing up and everything. And it's like killing the zombies around. And I'm like, oh man, that's sick. It is pretty sick. So I'm shooting around here. I charge it up a little bit and it kills them automatically. And I'm getting the soul chest all the way up. It takes like two rounds here. There's also a part to the staff where you can revive people, which you press left for and then shoot it at them. There you go. I got the golden helmet, which I will show you that you cannot die by the robot's foot. Boom, right there. You may think I just got down, but no, I still have all my perks. What's the matter? Oh. No, never mind. I'm I'm alive. Oh no, a bunch of zombies. How did they survive? Can I kill them? I'm like, okay, I'm gonna die here. Then I realize it's not too much of a big group. Went for them to all gather up. Then once they all gather up, I'm like, okay, I have a staff. I'm going to use this baby to kill them all. Wait for them to gather up. Start shooting. Let them fill up the soul chest. Don't get that new because it's going to be very bad. Keep on killing them until it's full. It's full there and I didn't even notice. And then now I finally noticed. Go to this last one right here. Second to last or last one, whichever. I'm pretty sure it's the last one. It takes me about one whole full round to get this done. I set on again so I didn't die by the zombies. There you go. I get zombie blood, which was unfortunate because it took longer for me to get the zombie box full. And I got it there. As you can see, it's the biggest one out of all of them. All the challenges. I'm going to go get claim my reward over here, which is Thunder Fists right there. Boom, boom. It is awesome. 
it is just completely awesome. Um, I don't know if I actually use it, though. It's like the thunder weapon, thunder gun, and Black Ops 1. Like that, yeah. You just, boom, hit them and fly away. Sometimes they fly away. On lower rounds, you want to get the box, I guess. You all can get it as if you're playing with four people or so. If you each fill up a chest. Or if you're playing with two people or three people, you might want to have one person do w one more than the other. Or two per person with two people. Three people, one more than the... One person does one more than the others. And yeah, that is my video. So guys, remember to comment, like,